KTHT Cleveland, Houston. Worldwide at countrylegends971.com. An iHeart radio station. Driven by McCree Ford. Wow, what a beautiful weekend coming up. Do something outside this weekend. Sunshine today, tomorrow, Sunday. We'll top out at 64 degrees today and dip to 40 overnight. Tomorrow we'll inch up to 65 to the mid-40s overnight, then the lower 70s by Sunday. So if I try to do something outdoors this weekend, I'll just get lost. Yeah. <laughs> It's 45 degrees in beautiful Crockett, Texas. It's 51 in Houston, 708. Hello there, I'm Chuck Akers. I'm Dan Gallo. We are your morning breakfast flakes on Country Legends 97.1. Sleeping single in a double bed. Sleeping single in a double bed. Legends will never fall off a fiscal cliff. They've paid their dues and they're here to stay. We're going to see to that. Houston's home for country legends. Country Legends 97.1. Sometimes late at night, I lie awake and watch her sleeping. If tomorrow never comes. Oh, the smoochy side of Garth Brooks there from his self-titled album, uh, which would then be what? Garth Brooks. I think that's usually how that Sounds works. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. well, it's why insured Friday. We're kind of flaky here this morning. My partner Chuck and I are both this morning, but yeah. yeah well. <laughs> Well, okay, if you discount the other uh, the preceding flaky, four days, yeah. Hey, listen, coming up here in about uh, 20 minutes, uh, yeah, it's more like 25 minutes, but I wanted to give you a little warning shot. We got those tickets for Sammy Kershaw. Now, a little caveat here. Uh, if you're going to go for these tickets, understand you got to be able to pick these tickets up by 5 o'clock this afternoon before we close our office because, uh, hey, the concert's tomorrow night. It's up at do si I-45, the Woodlands, and... Hey, this includes the gourmet dinner before the show. I just want you to know that, all right? So uh, we'll go for that in about 25 minutes. And, uh, man, do is going to be a busy place here over the next couple of weeks. It is awesome. Let's get into the traffic just ahead of Uncle Dan's uncensored story time. And here's the guy whose kitchen is dedicated to the, the late Marvin Zindler. Complete with slime in the ice machine. You know it. Yeah, here's Chuck Akers. Yeah, okay, yeah. we are starting to see some trouble out there. 288, the outbound side at McGregor. Four vehicles got it wrapped up there in the two center lanes. That's got traffic backed up to Highway 59. Inbounders, of course, have to slow down and take a look. All right, guys, keep your eyes on the road there. Uh, inbound, Highway 6 into Highway 59. Still not bad, though. It's about 28 minutes. Uh, also, a truck stall. It's a heavy truck, 18-wheeler South Sam. It's the eastbound side at Rockwell. Uh, nobody seems to care about that one, though. They're waiting on a heavy-duty record to get them out. Of there over on 290 you've got a 30 minute trip from mason road into the loop and the katie freeway not bad at all this morning about 32 minutes from the grand parkway into downtown traffic by office max if you need it for your business you'll find it at office max now with a 75 dollars rate purchase including hp dell brother and canon you'll get a 15 dollars itunes gift card only at office max restrictions apply see store or officemax.com for details offer in january 18th in our continuing effort to introduce you to more literature and bloody colonial uh, culture, we humbly present yeah. Uncle Dan's Storytime. Yeah. Now here's Uncle trip. Dan. Well, thank you once again, lovely and effervescent Storytime introduction, yes. lady. Yes. Take a bow. Foxy thing, you. You know, she bears a striking resemblance to the late Dusty Springfield, doesn't she? She does. That's what makes does. her so lovely. Especially All the right. mustache. Yeah, well, today's story is titled, The Retired Engineer. Retired! Engineer! Right you are, sir. Well, we had an engineer who had an exceptional gift for fixing all things mechanical. Kind of like my grandfather. Oh, yeah? Oh, my gosh. My my mom's father was just a genius when it came to stuff like Great that. Great with a wrench, huh? Yep, yep. So after serving his company, loyally, I might add, for 30 years, he just went ahead and grabbed his gold watch and retired. Hmm. And uh, several years later, the company contacted him regarding a... Well, what appeared to be a really a, a, a nasty glitch in a machine. And uh, this, this wasn't just any old machine. It was the most expensive machine they had on the factory floor. Oh, yeah. And this was boogering up production big time. The entire assembly line came to a screeching halt. And they tried everything and everybody else to get the machine to work but no go. So in desperation, they called on the retired engineer. Because they knew he'd solve so many other problems in the past. Obviously, he would be able to fix this one. So they call him up, and uh, believe it or not, they actually had to haggle him, 
haggle with him a little bit because he didn't want to come in off of fishing to of fix a not, stupid yeah. machine, right? But he reluctantly took the challenge and he spent a whole day studying this machine. Finally, a little before quitting time on the B shift, he marked a small X in chalk on this really innocuous little place on the surface of the machine. Hmm. And he said, okay, guys, this is where your problem is. <laughs> That's just amazing. A little, yeah, just an X in chalk. So they went ahead and replaced the part, and sure enough, the machine was up and running. They'd restored production. They were just full tilt boogie getting things back into the marketplace right away quick. And uh, a few days later, the factory received a bill for $50,000. Oh, my. Directly from the engineer. Build mm-hmm. build him on his little, uh, uh, what is that, uh, Excel program on his computer at home, okay. right? So he bills him for the $50,000. And naturally, the uh, plant manager was a little uppity about it. And he decided, you know, well, I got, hey, I have to have an itemized invoice. So another day later, the engineer sends him an invoice. It reads... One chalk mark, one dollar. Knowing where to put it, forty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine bucks. <laughs> Here's what's on countrylegends 971com right now. Each week, we will post a few new pets that need love and a great home from the Houston SPCA. Take a look to see how to make your home complete with a furry friend. Country Legends 971.com. Call one eight 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 tweets. I have misplaced my pants.